May our Father, Messiah, and the Holy Spirit be with us. Joshua chapter 14. These are the inheritances that the Israelites received in the land of Canaan, which the priest Eleazar and Joshua son of Nun and the heads of the families of the tribes of the Israelites distributed to them. Their inheritance was by lot, as our Father in heaven had commanded Moses for the nine and one-half tribes. For Moses had given an inheritance to the two and one-half tribes beyond the Jordan. But to the Levites, he gave no inheritance among them. For the people of Joseph were two tribes, Manasseh and Ephraim, and no portion was given to the Levites in the land, but only towns to live in, with their pasture lands for their flocks and herds. The Israelites did as our Father in heaven commanded Moses. They allotted the land. Then the people of Judah came to Joshua at Gilgal, and Caleb, son of Jephunneh, the Kenizzite, said to him, You know what our father said to Moses, the man of God, in Kadesh Barnea, concerning you and me. I was forty years old when Moses, the servant of our father, sent me from Kadesh Barnea to spy out the land, and I brought him an honest report. But my companions who went up with me made the heart of the people melt. Yet I wholeheartedly followed our father, my God. And Moses swore on that day, saying, Surely the land on which your foot has trodden shall be an inheritance for you and your children forever, because you have wholeheartedly followed your father in heaven, my God. And now, as you see, our father has kept me alive, as he said, these 45 years since the time that our father spoke this word to Moses while Israel was journeying through the wilderness and here I am today 85 years old I am still as strong today as I was in the day that Moses sent me my strength now is as my strength was then for war and for going and coming so now give me this hill country of which our father in heaven spoke on that day for you heard on that day how the Anakim were there with great fortified cities. It may be that our father will be with me and I shall drive them out as our father in heaven said. Then Joshua blessed him and gave Hebron to Caleb son of Jephunneh for an inheritance. So Hebron became an inheritance of Caleb son of Jephunneh the Kenizzite to this day because he wholeheartedly followed our father, the God of Israel. Now the name of Hebron formerly was Kiriath Arba. This Arba was the greatest man among the Anakim, and the land had rest from war. Chapter 15. The lot for the tribe of the people of Judah, according to their families, reached southward to the boundary of Edom, to the wilderness of Zin at the farthest south. And their south boundary ran from the end of the Dead Sea from the bay that faces southward. It goes southward of the ascent of Aklabim, passes along to Zin, and goes up south of Kadesh Barnea, along by Hezron, up to Adar, makes a turn at Garka, passes along to Azmon, goes out by the Wadi of Egypt, and comes to its end at the sea. This shall be your south boundary. And the east boundary is the Dead Sea to the mouth of the Jordan. And the boundary on the north side runs from the bay of the sea at the mouth of the Jordan. And the boundary goes up to Beth Hogla and passes along north of Beth Araba. And the boundary goes up to the stone of Bohan, Reuben's son. And the boundary goes up to Debir from the valley of Akor, and so northward, turning toward Gilgal, which is opposite the ascent of Adumim, which is on the south side of the valley. And the boundary passes along to the waters of En Shemesh, and ends at En Rogel. Then the boundary goes up by the valley of the son of Hinnom at the southern slope of the Jebusites, that is, Jerusalem. And the boundary goes up to the top of the mountain that lies over against the valley of Hinnom on the west, at the northern end of the valley of Rephaim. Then the boundary extends from the top of the mountain to the spring of the waters of Nephtoah, 
and from there to the towns of Mount Ephron. Then the boundary bends around to Baalah, that is Kiriath Jedaim, and the boundary circles west of Baalah to Mount Seir, passes along to the northern slope of Mount Jearim, that is Chesalon, and goes down to Beth Shemesh, and passes along by Timnah. The boundary goes out to the slope of the hill north of Ekron. Then the boundary bends around to Shekeron and passes along to Mount Baala and goes out to Jabniel. Then the boundary comes to an end at the sea. And the west boundary was the Mediterranean with its coast. This is the boundary surrounding the people of Judah according to their families. According to the commandment of our father in heaven to Joshua, he gave to Caleb, son of Jephunneh, a portion among the people of Judah, Kiriath Arba, that is Hebron. Arba was the father of Anak. And Caleb drove out from there the three sons of Anak, Shishai, Ahiman, and Talmai, the descendants of Anak. From there he went up against the inhabitants of Debir. Now the name of Debir was formerly Kiriath Sefer. And Caleb said, Whoever attacks Kiriath Sefer and takes it, to him I will give my daughter Aksa to wife. Othniel, son of Kanaz, the brother of Caleb, took it, and he gave him his daughter Aksa as wife. When she came to him, she urged him to ask her father for a field. As she dismounted from her donkey, Caleb said to her, What do you wish? She said to him, Give me a present. Since you have set me in the land of the Negev, give me springs of water as well. So Caleb gave her the upper springs and the lower springs. This is the inheritance of the tribe of the people of Judah according to their families. The towns belonging to the tribe of the people of Judah in the extreme south toward the boundary of Edom were Kabziel, Eder, Jagur, Kinnah, Dimonah, Adada, Kadesh, Hazor, Ithnan, Zif, Telem, Be'eloth, Hazor, Hadata, Keriyoth, Hezron, that is Hazor, Amam, Shema, Molada, Hazar Gada, Heshman, Beth Pelet, Hazar Shua, Beer Sheba, Bizioth-Via, Be'ala, Ayim, Izim, Eltolad, Chezul, Horma, Ziklag, Madmana, Sansana, Lebaoth, Shohim, Ain, and Rimon, in all twenty-nine towns with their villages, and then the lowland, Eshtao, Zora, Ashna, Zanoa, Enganim, Tapua, Inam, Jarmuth, Arulam, Sako, Azeka, Sha'arayim, Adithaim. Gerera, Gererothaim, 14 towns with their villages. Zinan, Hadasha, Migdalgad, Dilan, Mizpeh, Jakthiel, Lakish, Boskath, Eglon, Kabon, Lamam, Chilish, Gereroth, Beth Dagon, Naama, and Makeda, 16 towns with their villages. Libna, Ether, Ashan, Ifta, Ashna, Nezib, Kiela, Akzib, and Maresha, nine towns with their villages. Ekron, with its dependencies and its villages, from Ekron to the sea, all that were near Ashdod with their villages. Ashdod, its town and its villages, Gaza, its town and its villages, to the Wadi of Egypt and the Great Sea with the coast. And in the hill country, Shamir, Jatir, Sako, Dana, Kiriath Sana, that is Dabir, Anab, Eshtemo, Anim, Goshen, Holan, and Giloth, eleven towns with their villages. Arab, Duma, Ishan, Janim, Beth Tapua, Afeka, Humta, Kiriath Arba, that is Hebron, and Zior, nine towns with their villages. Maon, Carmel, Zif, Juta, 
Jezreel, Jaktiam, Zanoa, Cain, Gibeah, and Timnah, ten towns with their villages, Halul, Beth Zor, Gidor, Ma'arath, Beth Anath, and El Tekong, six towns with their villages, Kiriath Be'ah, that is Kiriath Jearim, and Rabah, two towns with their villages. In the wilderness, Beth Arabah, Midin, Sekaka, Nebshan, the city of Saul, and Engedi, six towns with their villages. But the people of Judah could not drive out the Jebusites, the inhabitants of Jerusalem. So the Jebusites lived with the people of Judah in Jerusalem to this day. Chapter 16. The allotment of the Josephites went from the Jordan by Jericho, east of the waters of Jericho, into the wilderness, going up from Jericho into the hill country to Bethel. Then going from Bethel to Luz, it passes along to Ataroth, the territory of the Archites. Then it goes down westward to the territory of the Japhletites, as far as the territory of Lower Beth Horan, then to Gezer, and it ends at the sea. The Josephites, Manasseh and Ephraim, received their inheritance. The territory of the Ephraimites by their families was as follows. The boundary of their inheritance on the east was Araroth Adar, as far as Upper Beth Horam. And the boundary goes from there to the sea. On the north is Mikmethah. Then on the east, the boundary makes a turn toward Ta'anath Shiloh and passes along beyond it on the east to Janoa. Then it goes down from Janoa to Ataroth and to Nida and touches Jericho, ending at the Jordan. From Tapua, the boundary goes westward to the Wadi Kana and ends at the sea. Such is the inheritance of the tribe of the Ephraimites by their families, together with the towns that were set apart for the Ephraimites within the inheritance of the Manassites all those towns with their villages. They did not, however, drive out the Canaanites who lived in Gezer. So the Canaanites have lived with Ephraim to this day, but have been made to do forced labor. 17. Then allotment was made to the tribe of Manasseh, for he was the firstborn of Joseph. To Machir, the firstborn of Manasseh, the father of Gilead, were allotted Gilead and Bashan, because he was a warrior. And allotments were made to the rest of the tribe of Manasseh by their families, Abiezar, Helek, Azrael, Shishem, Hefer, and Shemida. These were the male descendants of Manasseh, son of Joseph, by their families. Now Zelophehad, son of Hefer, son of Gilead, son of Machir, son of Manasseh, had no sons, but only daughters. And these are the names of his daughters, Mahla, Noah, Hogla, Milka and Tirzah. They came before the priest Eleazar and Joshua, son of Nun, and the leaders, and said, Our Father in heaven commanded Moses to give us an inheritance along with our male kin. So, according to the commandment our Father, he gave them an inheritance among the kinsmen of their father. Thus there fell to Manasseh ten portions beside the land of Gilead and Bashan, which is on the other side of the Jordan, because the daughters of Manasseh received an inheritance along with his sons. The land of Gilead was allotted to the rest of the Manassites. The territory of Manasseh reached from Asher to Mikmethoth, which is east of Shechem. Then the boundary goes along southward to the inhabitants of en -Tapua. The land of Tapua belonged to Manasseh, but the town of Tapua on the boundary of Manasseh belonged to the Ephraimites. Then the boundary went down to the Wadi Kana, the towns here to the south of the Wadi among the towns of Manasseh belong to Ephraim. Then the boundary of Manasseh goes along the north side of the Wadi and ends at the sea. The land of the the land to the south is Ephraim's, and that to the north is Manasseh's, with the sea forming its boundary. On the north, Asher is reached, and on the east, Issachar. Within Issachar and Asher, Manasseh and Beth Shean and its villages, Iblaim and its villages, the inhabitants of Dor and its villages, the inhabitants of Endor and its villages, the inhabitants of 
Ta'anak and its villages and the inhabitants of Megiddo and its villages. The third is Nafab. Yet the Manassites could not take possession of those towns, but the Canaanites continued to live in that land. But when the Israelites grew strong, they put the Canaanites to forced labor, but they did not utterly drive them out. The tribe of Joseph spoke to Joshua saying, why have you given me but one lot and one portion as an inheritance, since we are a numerous people whom all along our father in heaven has blessed? And Joseph said to them, if you are a numerous people, go up to the forest and clear ground there for yourselves in the land of the Perizzites and the Rephaim, since the hill country of Ephraim is too narrow for you. The tribe of Joseph said, the hill country is not enough for us. Yet all the Canaanites who live in the plain have chariots of iron, both those in Beth Shean and its villages and those in the valley of Jezreel. Then Joseph said to the house of, then Joshua said to the house of Joseph, to Ephraim and to Manasseh, you are indeed a numerous people and have great power. You shall not only have one lot, but the hill country shall be yours. For though it is a forest, you shall clear it and possess it to its farthest borders. For you shall drive out the Canaanites, though they have chariots of iron and though they are strong. Father willing, we will continue with Joshua chapter 18. May our Father, Messiah, and the Holy Spirit be with us. Repent, the kingdom of heaven is near. Peace.